Hey guys, how's it going? Back into the garage. Uh, I will get back to you as soon as I can. I've got literally hundreds of messages between Instagram and Facebook to get back to, and I will get back to you soon. But I just I'll keep you updated because I've got a matter of hours before I need to go away to work for a couple of weeks. So I need to pull the head off this thing, get a look at the gasket, and more importantly, look at the epoxy that I created uh, to see if it's held up to the abuse. And as it has, has, has held up to the abuse, you know, up near a thousand horsepower stuff, which is blowing everything out of the water um, and not splitting any liners, then I'm going to be selling this stuff for all you KCDs, Z20, anyone that's got an open deck block, Subarus, anything, um, you can use this stuff to support your cylinder walls to stop splitting liners and stuff. And it's obviously taken a lot of abuse and a lot of power. Cylinder number four. Let's go and check the rest of these. Number three. My van is dying in there. Number two. Still looking good. And number one. Sound. So we have got some are down maybe 5 to 10 psi Potential is that they're the ones that the head gaskets have gone on so don't worry about that But I am happy that they are equal through all four so um, And there's lowest compression compared to most like a standard K-series But got to remember these are really low compression pistons because I'm going for high boost That's why I have the compression so low Oh, you motherfucker. That's about to shear off. Oh, no. This car, and it ran all okay, and I've driven it in here and everything. The timing chain slipped off of the guide and has been running up the side of the block. How the fuck did this engine not grenade itself? It's maybe just as well I decided not to go and do another hero pass because that would have made a big, big mess. Pull this off. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. That was very close. So obviously that's not the reason why the head gas was gone, but it would most likely have been the reason on the last pass why it took me like eight seconds to get a trans brake. And I thought it was a boost leak, but clearly it was just the timing was way, way off. Oh, that was a close one. That's, that's far too close for comfort. And as you can see, I'm on standard cams. Standard cam. VTEC is locked, but in hindsight, I'm actually putting VTEC back on again. You can see the block off play there. Uh, because it'll get on the trans brake even faster with VTEC. I was chasing an issue with an oil pressure thing, controlling my variable valve timing, but it ended up being something completely different. So I'm just going to put VTEC back on. So now I'm just going to go and take off these studs. These are big, heavy duty studs. They're inline pro studs. Uh, thick 11mm shank things. They're, they're actually are beasts, but now they're just not strong enough for what I'm doing with this thing because when you start pushing these big power, you know, we're, 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 we are stretching them now, stretching the thread. So we are going to upgrade these to 625s. Now these are, I just use a 16mm bolt on these, but for you Americans, it'll be like six thirds of a 24 square root 12 of the moon inch pounds ASI socket so you just need to whip that one out your drawer right head is off let's spin this around a little bit let's have a look so you see the head gasket is deformed a bit and it's looking like yeah cylinder 2 here and here it's uh, potentially a cylinder three. That's where it's been passing from combustion chamber into the uh, coolant. So that looks like the cylinder's gone. And uh, let's 
pull this gasket off for you. Look, this gasket, if you guys remember, was an L ring head gasket, £38 from eBay, so yeah, multi layered steel, regardless. But yeah, oh, that's actually let's have a look at this. So, block fill looks still intact, which is good. I can see some sort of bubbling that was obviously there when I put it all together. You guys will remember that. And the air bubbles from when the stuff soaks to the top, but it's not sunk, it's not cracked, it's not deformed. And you can see more combustion here, just getting past these o rings. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to call it success. I'm not going to need to sleeve it yet. That'll just need to be o ringed, clean the top, get the head redecked, a new style head gasket, and some big bolts, and uh, we'll be sticking this bush back together again see here as well cylinder two and three i'm going to crank it around and have a look at that piston a bit it doesn't look too bad but it looks like it's getting there you know what i mean it's not pitted or anything but it was definitely different so i'll check the injectors on this one as well um but yeah i need to move on this one a new bit richer then the rest looks okay, the walls look okay, everything looks okay, apart from that. It's a bit oily though, so... There we go. That's where she's gone, boys. Well, cylinder 2. So, as you can see, it's not bubbled, the gasket yet. So, we've caught it in the nick of time. <laughs> and if you didn't notice... We're on stock valves as well. So I'm happy with the condition of the engine. There is one thing that's kind of annoying me, is cylinder number three is, it's not slightly oily, but it's wetter than the rest. Now, whether that's from just the, the starting and running it this morning, I'm not sure, too sure. Maybe the injector stuck open slightly, um, which I'll need to reflow my injectors anyway. It's always good. When you're up at this near 1,000 horsepower and over uh, level, you kind of need to do this maintenance. You can't just turn key and go all the time. It's good to do these preliminary checks. And from past experience with debt, uh, I've seen before in the last engine member, cylinder one, I'd cracked the piston. Um, so just as a precautionary, what I'm going to do is I'll pull off the sump and just whip out piston number three uh, and we'll have a look at it. And if it's all good, we'll just stick it back together again. It'd be good to have a look at the bearings as well. Uh, just get a good look in general of all the components inside it. Like I say, this is just usual maintenance for me now. Now the thing is, if the piston's okay and everything's looking okay, the bores and barrels look okay, everything looks good. Um, it could just be a valve stem or a slightly loose valve stem or even just a valve stem seal itself or like I said before, the injector. So, uh, but be best at this level to just check these things anyway. It takes 10 minutes to whip the sump off and an extra two minutes to pull the piston out while I've got the head off anyway. It would be silly not to do it, so that's what I'm going to do. Yoink! We we'll also need to look in here for. Do you remember the feel cage that I dropped in here? Oh, I've got her! <laughs> so, it's always good to whip off the sub for a wee look. Plus, it'd be good to clean this out after all that fucking aluminium from the head in the block is basically <laughs> in the engine now, so we'll give you it all. But looking through it all, everything is looking nice. Got a bit of shit from underneath the car from when I dropped this down. Let's go and pull out that piston anyway. And we'll give it a look. Right. I think that's us. Let's get a look. Ah, oh, perfect condition! Yes! So we can just stick these back in again and send it for some more abuse, boys! Woo! <laughs> Looks good. So damage report is this piece here, my tensioner, as you see, the chain has actually been running on the side of the tensioner, like just here, you can see it been wearing away. So the chain itself, I'll obviously stick another chain on it, but the chain doesn't look too bad. Like you can see it's been wearing on the tips there. We'll stick another one on. 
Uh, it's also run off the side of the, the tensioner. I, I have no idea how long this has been doing this for, by the way. This could have been on the dyno. It could have been any fucking time. Um, but, yeah, this is what it's supposed to look like. And that's what's worn down. And the head gasket. So, we're pretty good to go, guys. I'm, I'm happy with that. It's not time for a VR6 yet, but as you can see, there's a, a spare block down there for mock-up that is kind of staring at her, but we're... You know, after this weekend, we're going to stay K-Series at least for a couple more months, I think. 